Hello everyone! In this video, we'll have a look at some vocabulary related to science, technology and information. Then we'll do a few exercises and we'll continue with further study. Let's start! Here is some vocabulary related to technology. You already know some of them. Let's see. Pause the video and match the pictures with the words. All right, here are the answers. Let's have a look at the pronunciation. Repeat the words as we go. Electricity. Nuclear power. Washing machine. Vacuum cleaner. Motorbike. Space travel. Solar power. Commercial aeroplane, vaccination, computer network, antibiotics, genetic engineering, communication satellites. Let's focus on the meaning of some of them. Let's start with vaccination. Vaccination is an injection put into a person's body to prevent them from a disease. For example, there is no vaccination against coronavirus yet. And solar power. Solar power is the energy that we get from the sun. Genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is the science of changing the structures of the genes of DNA and communication satellites they are objects in space and they are used to send out television and radio signals around the Earth's surface okay now pause the video and put these words into the correct category can you read them aloud while doing it? Okay, here are the answers. Let's do one more practice on this vocabulary. Pause the video and match the words with their definitions. Here are the answers. And here comes practice two. Pause the video and underline the correct alternative. <clears throat> All right, here are the answers. Now we have more vocabulary on technology. This time we'll have a look at some verbs. You already know some of them. Now pause the video and match the words with the pictures. Okay, here comes the answers. Let's focus on some of the vocabulary here. Breakdown. If your car breaks down, it doesn't work. Run out of petrol. If you or your car runs out of petrol, you have no petrol. Have an operation. Who is having an operation here? The doctors or the patient? The patient is having an operation. How about here? Who is having an injection? This guy here is having an injection. Okay. What is the difference between vaccination and injection, by the way? We talked about vaccination before, remember? Injection is more general. You can have an injection for flu or as a painkiller, but vaccination 
is to prevent a specific disease. Okay, now it's time to practice. Pause the video and complete the sentences with the words in the box. Here are the answers. Okay, now we have a set of words related to information. The first one is question. Look at these examples. He's very clever. There is no question about that. People should question the truth of the news on social media. So if you question something, you express doubt or confusion. It means you are not sure. Look at the sentences again. Is question a verb or a noun or both? Right. Question is a verb and a noun. Which one is a noun? Right. Here. Sorry. Here. No question. It's a noun. But here it's a verb. Okay. The second word, you already saw it, is a wonder. Look at the sentences. There's only one sentence actually here. I wonder when the coronavirus will go away. So if you wonder something, you ask yourself a question. You express a wish to know something. Is wonder a verb here? Right, it's a verb. Next word is discuss. We discuss the importance of health today at school. So if you discuss a subject, you talk about it with somebody and tell each other your ideas and opinions. Is discuss a verb or a noun here? It's a verb. How about the noun? What is the noun version of discuss? It's discussion. You can say have a discussion. Okay, and we have debate here. Debate means discuss, but discuss in a formal way. Look at these sentences. Education is the current focus of public debate. In Parliament today, MPs debated the finance bill. How about the word form? Is it a noun or verb or both? Yes, it's both verb and noun. So which one is a noun here? Yes, public debate. This is noun and this is verb. Next one is respond. So respond means answer a question or give a reaction. Look at the sentences here. To every question, he responded, I don't know. She didn't respond to my emails. So if there is an object here, remember to put to, preposition to. Okay, is it a verb or a noun or both? Right, it's a verb. How about the noun version? Response is the noun. And the other word is reply. So reply is means response, answer. It's the same thing. But let's have a look at the sentences. I'm still waiting for a, for a reply. She didn't reply to my emails. Again, there is a, the preposition to here if you have the object. Okay, so is, it, is reply also a verb only or verb and a noun? Right, reply is a verb and a noun. Let's have a look at the next set of words. The first one is research. Okay, let's have a look at the sentences. Scientists are researching into possible cures for
for COVID-19. I want to do a research on cat behaviors. So research is a detailed study into a subject. And look at the prepositions here. If you have the object, if you say what you are researching, you use these prepositions here. How about the word form? Is research a verb or a noun or both? Right. So research is a verb here and a noun here. And if it's a noun, you can use do, the verb do. Do a research. And the next word is investigate. So investigate, what does it mean? Let's have a look at the sentence. Detectives will continue to investigate the crime. So it means to examine something, especially a crime or a problem, to discover the truth. Is it a verb or a noun? Right, it's a verb. But we also have a noun version, of course, which is investigation is the noun form. Quarrel is our next word. Quarrel. What does it mean? Let's have a look at the sentence. They had a quarrel about some money three years ago and they haven't spoken ever since. She quarreled with everyone in the village, so nobody speaks with her. So quarrel means disagree with somebody in an angry way. You're angry with somebody because you don't disagree with him or her. Is it a verb, quarrel, or a noun, or both? Look at the sentences again. Yes, it's both verb and a noun. So if it's a noun, like here, you can use the verb have, have a quarrel. And argue. Look at the sentence here. Kids, will you stop arguing with each other? With. If you are telling who you are arguing with, you use the preposition here. So argue is the same. It's the same meaning with quarrel, but it is only a verb. What is the noun form of argue? It's argument. Last set of words, uh, one of them is inquire. Let's have a look at the sentences. Shall I inquire about the price of the tickets? It might be rude to inquire about his salary. So inquire means to ask for information. Okay, so is it a verb or a noun in these sentences? Right, it's a word. And pay attention at the uh, preposition here. So if you are telling what you are inquiring, the object, you use the preposition about here. Is there a noun version of inquire? Of course, and it is inquiry. The noun is inquiry. And the last word here is look into. Look into it has a similar meaning. It also means to examine the facts about a problem or a situation. So right now we're looking into the possibility of doing an online class. Okay, it's time to practice now. Oh, sorry. It's a verb, of course. <laughs> okay. Practice one. Read the sentences. Which option is not possible? Pause the video and do the exercise. Okay, here are the answers. And here is practice two. Again, pause the video and choose the correct option in the sentences. And here are the answers. Okay, finally, here is some further practice for you. Enjoy!